What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and a small news update today. Unfortunately, nothing of major import in all the speculation that everyone had of Critical Role and Dungeons and Dragons having news dropping at the same time is completely unrelated, as some of you rightly guessed. So, today's week of Legend Lore is another throwaway for me. For some of it, we got a little bit of information about the voice cast behind Dark Alliance. That's cool doesn't really like not not worthy of this the thing that is worth mentioning though is finally additional rollout of copies of all of the different core rule books in other languages now this is something i remember them talking about years ago and i even was doing D, D news and D, D weekly recaps and stuff years and years ago and i remember when gale force 9 got the contract to do this for wizards of the coast but I don't know whatever came of that or if it ever made it to fruition, but they made a point to mention it today. So on September 24th of 2021, fans in France, Italy, Germany, and Spain will have access to new and updated printings of the core rulebooks as well as the Essentials Kit. There was an article also posted expanding D&D here on the Wizards of the Coast website. I'll put links to both of those that we just talked about in the description. Um... It talks about a little bit the process to get there and basically they're going to ultimately be easier to find you can see here here is the essentials kit um i don't remember if that's the same art that's on the essentials kit screen or not but they're also going to do a collector's edition box set that will have an updated dm screen which as you can see there has the same art as the english dungeon kit that we'll be getting later this year as opposed to keeping with the original red dragon outside design and that is really it. The critical role news that was announced today is a kind of in-between project between the campaign two has officially ended and campaign three will start at some point in the future. But they are doing, uh, I think it's like Exandria Unlimited, I think is what they're calling it. Uh, it is a continued, uh, a new series that takes place within the world, may or may not touch. It's kind of a world building expansion spinoff, I guess, series you could consider it. Interesting uh, choice is we have uh, several new cast members. Um, Matt gets to be a player, which is unique. Uh, and I'm actually pretty excited about it. I have some friends that I wanted just, you know, the friends that I stream with when we stream here on uh, on Twitch, on our, our Twitch channel every Tuesday. I've been constantly trying to get them to watch other TTRPG shows to say like, hey, is there stuff we can sample from what they do to improve how our stream works quality wise presentation wise or whatever and you know this is a non year multiple year long 100 plus episode commitment this sounds like it's going to be a fun small smaller anyway little show uh and i'm excited i like robbie damon uh i actually know robbie damon best as a narrator and like a voice actor from audible having done uh recently the trials of apollo series as part of the percy jackson novels he was the narrator for all of those uh, and then uh, Amy uh, Ferreira, I want to say is her name. I could be, I'm just going off of memory here. But she's the voice of uh, 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 Adora and She-Ra in uh, She-Ra and the Princesses of Power, which I absolutely adore that Netflix show and that adaptation of it. So I'm very excited to see this. And again, we've never seen Matt as a player streamed since all of the Critical Role stuff blew up, aside from more than the occasional one shot uh, for the most part. So... That'll be that. Completely unrelated. There still is one more news drop tomorrow. I really am hoping for something big, right? We got the two official things that were leaked. We got those ahead of time. Those have been announced. We know that. And now they're official. Could tomorrow be this mythical third book that we don't know what it is? If it isn't even happening at all, could it be Dragonlance? Could it be some other thing we're not prepared for? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and speculation in the comments down below, and I will see you all next time.